It's insane. And if you really want, you can also pay an additional fee and stay the night in a legitimate prison with legitimate murderers that are sentenced there to life. You are paying a prisoner to take you on a tour and to let you stay with them in their room. That's their income. That's how they buy their food. Cascades of rocks and water and cliffs and fog that just hug them out and you can't see more than two meters ahead of you. So you may be going there for a good time and you may come back without a kidney. Hello my friends and very welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about six craziest things you can do in South America. Let's get started. Reason number one, favelas in Rio de Janeiro. Pretty dangerous. There are over a thousand of them because of the extreme poverty. You will be doing a tour with a guide and the guide itself is usually born and raised in the favelas. So the likelihood of getting shot, stabbed or robbed, very, very slim. And of course, you're going to see some local capoeira dances. It's a bit like karate and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, all mixed together to make an incredible dance. But get amongst it, don't regret it. Reason number two, Brazilian Amazon rainforest, where you're going to find the Rio Negro, the Black River, but it's here where you're gonna see tapirs, toucans, jaguars, everything you could imagine, and the dense depth darkness of the Amazon itself. Number three, Death Road. One of the most dangerous roads on the world. Estimated two to 300 people die every year on Death Road. A 69 kilometer switchback road on sheer 2,000 foot drops, cascades of rocks and water and cliffs and fog that just hug them out and you can't see more than two meters ahead of you. And the only way to get down is on a bike. This is not the worst. This is uh, one of the most dangerous areas of the, uh, the death row. It's really narrow and especially during the rainy season, strategy here is always stay on the right. Reason number four, Cholita Wrestling. You're going to find Cholita Wrestling in a village, town, city, whatever you want to call it, in the north from La Paz. Cholita is like a indigenous strong women. So you've got these short Bolivian women in these traditional Bolivian clothes and the traditional Bolivian hair. You've got flips and kicks and headbutts and drop kicks. It's excellent, but... El Alto, it is a little bit dangerous, especially for the tourists and the whiteies like us, and very known for some uh, human trafficking, organ trafficking. So you may be going there for a good time and you may come back without a kidney. So you'll do a tour, get picked up from your hotel or your hostel, and the bus stops right in front of the arena. I'm talking you have this much room between the bus door and the entry, just to make sure that you don't just get kidnapped. Reason number five, San Pedro prison. It's not just any ordinary prison. It's located right in the middle of La Paz. You can actually pay the guards a small fee to get let into the prison. And once you're in, you're gonna notice something crazy. You're going to notice that there is sports teams, there are restaurants, there are bars, there are places you can eat. Uh, the kind of prisoners you're going to find in there are the rapists, the murderers, and the drug king pins. Now, the richer that you are in this prison, the better your accommodation is. If you're butt poor, you're going to be smoking crack cocaine in the garage. But if you're rich, you can get renovations and get construction crews in, have a two-story apartment instead of a cell. It's nuts, but it's a legitimate prison. Big fences, walls, barbed wire, the whole shebang. It's insane. And if you really want, you can also pay an additional fee and stay the night in a legitimate prison with legitimate murderers that are sentenced there to life. You are paying a prisoner to take you on a tour and to let you stay with them in their room. That's their income. That's how they buy their food. And not only do you have to pay the guard to let you in and pay the prisoner to take you on a tour and let you stay in their accommodation with them, you've also got to pay a bribe to get out. Now, if you don't pay the bribe to get out, you may just become San Pedro's newest prisoner. 
Reason number six. Ayahuasca. Very traditional for the Amazonians and the tribal chiefs. Now, the way ayahuasca works, you do have to fast beforehand. Some say 24, some say 48, some say a week. There's all sorts of different stories. You will be introduced to your shaman. You do need to have a good headspace. If you have a bad headspace, you're gonna have a bad trip. Now, then you get into the ayahuasca. It comes in two drinks. The first one doesn't make you feel so good. Pretty Nazi vomiting for a few hours. That's why you have the second drink that makes you trip the hell out. All sorts of things can happen. There's many stories. You do have to do it under supervision because if you have the outer body experience, you might step out of your body and look at yourself, but you'll see yourself as a jaguar, a caiman, a crocodile, or a bloody kookaburra, who knows? And imagine if you're out of your body in the middle of the Amazon and you think you're a crocodile. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go for a swim in the Amazon and you're not gonna come back. But um, if you are interested in this, strongly recommend do it in South America. Do it with a shaman. Don't do it with one of those stupid American imposters in, in California or... Thank you very much for watching our video guys. Please put like, dislike and comment below if you would like to know any other information about Bolivia, South America or any other country. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, press the notification bell and I'm going to see you next week. And if you want to read about it, nomadstreetjournal.com. Hit me up and I can tell you something a little bit more crazy. Route 36 or the Secret Jungle Tour. Now I guarantee that's something you haven't heard. Number one, the beautiful hourglass figure women of Medellin. Best in the world. You've got to get there. You've got to do them.